Okay, um, this is uh, Dr. Hugh Wegworth, and I just want to um, I just wanted to give you just a little little pre-education before the workshop. One of the things when it comes to autoimmune conditions, uh, whatever autoimmune condition you have, the more education you have, the more understanding about your problem you're going to have, the better you're going to be able to actually overcome that problem and handle that autoimmune condition. So what I really want to want to start off with here today is um, going over exactly what you know, autoimmune disease is, and I'm just going to use a use an analogy here, which I think it's uh, it's a pretty big analogy. So you have your immune system, right? And now your immune system is there to protect you. Now, if a bug comes in to your body, your immune system here, your your Pac-Man is going to actually um, eat that up, right? It's going to eat that bacteria up, and it's going to get rid of it, and you're not going to have any kind of you know problems you know if someone gets the, the uh, someone sneezes at work and they have influenza and then influenza you breathe breathe that in hopefully you want your immune system to attack it get rid of it and then once it gets rid of it you're you're fine <clears throat> now what happens in uh, autoimmune condition uh, is that your immune system here becomes really confused so what I mean by that is uh, this would be you know the bug what happens is is over here, and you can see on this lady here, she's supposed to be in a lot of pain. Your immune system, instead of recognizing uh, your immune system as just as bugs as foreign, what happens is it recognizes your tissues as foreign. Now this is really critical. So your immune system is confused. So when your immune system is confused, if your immune system starts attacking your skin, you could have lupus, scleroderma. If your immune system starts attacking your thyroid, you can have uh, hypothyroid conditions. You have you can have Graves' disease. You can have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It's called. If your immune system starts to attack your digestive system, you can have irritable bowel or, or Crohn's disease. If your uh, immune system starts to attack your joints, you can have RA. So what autoimmune condition is, is when your immune system gets confused and it can't tell the difference between a bug and your tissues. So that's a major problem. Now, one of the things is what I do is what we call functional medicine. And when you come to the workshop, I'll, I'll fully go over that. With functional medicine, what you can do is you can actually decrease your body's immune system so it doesn't recognize your foreign, or it doesn't recognize your tissues at foreign, as foreign. Like, if you can do that, you're gonna decrease your autoimmune conditions, and I've repeatedly done that over and over for people. <clears throat> so right down here, I like this quote right here, you're, you're, you're healthy as your individual cells. You're, you're only as healthy as your individual cells. So what do I mean? You're made up of 100 trillion cells, right? So if your cells are not healthy, you're not going to be healthy. You're going to have an autoimmune condition. What the current research shows is this would be your cell wall, right? That's your cell wall. So when your cells become what I would say crusty, okay, or inflamed, your body sees your cells as foreign. So when your body sees your cells as foreign, as foreign that sounds like what? That sounds like an autoimmune condition. So you're, you're, you're only as healthy as your individual cells. So right now, if you have any kind of autoimmune condition, your cells aren't healthy. The first thing that we have to start to do is we have to start to fix the outside of your cells. Because when your cells are what I would call crusty, your immune system recognizes that as being a little bit different. So those cells are a little bit different. When those cells are a little bit different, your immune system starts to attack those cells. So at the end of the day, if you can make your cells healthier, right, which can be done, then your autoimmune attack decreases and you live the life that you deserve to have. Okay, so I hope that uh, gave you a little bit of information. I look forward to seeing you at the workshop. And at the workshop, you're going to have a lot more understanding of how to get better because the good news is you can. I look forward to seeing you in a short bit. Bye-bye.